Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 44 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Now, uh, last episode I started building a checkerboard game, and uh, between last episode and this one, I've done a little bit of work on it. I don't mind saying I've done a lot of work on it, actually. Uh, so the downside, of course, is that I spent a lot of time off camera working on this code and stuff, but the good side is that there won't be that much code being displayed in this episode. Last episode, I think I got a, I wouldn't say a lot of negative comments, but definitely Definitely more than typical uh, from one of my Let's Plays videos uh, where people are just like, oh, I don't like watching all this code. So, uh, you know, I will avoid showing much code in this episode as much as possible. Uh, but I definitely want to show, like, you know, how fun the game is to play. And then we're going to move on to building some other stuff, uh, you know, either a little bit later on or something like that. But I will, like I promised, uh, paste bin all the code that I'm using. Um, there's several programs that are written on each of the turtles and on the main computer here, though the main computer really doesn't have much besides the main checkers program um and i'll paste in all that and then i will record a separate episode which will be a special episode either l airing later today or in the next day or two uh hopefully if i uh you know can manage to do it all and talk through it and not be terribly boring and unfun uh <laughs> and just talk about all the cool uh you know code and how it works and that kind of thing it's probably not the most efficient code in the world like i'm not a terribly good coder but it works pretty well and i think it's doing what it's supposed to be doing so neptune's here and soren is here uh and who's on team speak have you checked this out yet lemming lemming's here i know that yeah what's up have you checked out the game i made i have not i'm watching though oh, okay yeah so you should be on the server hanging out with us that's what you should be doing yeah, it He's kind be, of hanging out. I've, I've kind of got, you know, TE15 to hopefully get working someday, if it's ever possible. Yeah, that's true. I heard, uh, it's, uh, I was just telling the guys last episode or two that, uh, it's a lot of work to update to 1.5, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, there have been various design decisions on the parts of various parties that have made this a nightmare. Yeah. 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 Like, basically, I would not expect worlds to survive. In fact, I might just code something TE that will automatically break all worlds. <laughs> just to prevent things from, from complaining. Nice. Yeah, I heard that 1.5 is basically a major rewrite for you guys. Just like 1.4 was. How nice. Or was it 1.3? What was the last major rewrite? 1.3 was the biggest. But this yeah. is probably a little bit more tedious even more tedious than 1.3? 1.3 was the one where yeah. everything became the same world, right? No single player. Oh, yeah, yeah. 1.5 is significantly worse. 1.3 yeah. was basically merging everything you already had. 1.5 is rebasing everything you have. Oh, uh, awesome. So probably a little time before we get an update going. But, uh, Lemming, what's your opinion on the whole uh, CPW awesome thing that he made? Um... What awesome thing? Sarage classes? I have not seen that. What? what? You didn't see that? Like the whole, like, you know, if you compile against Sarage names or something, then you don't have to update going forward if any minor version changes occur. Unless... Oh, oh. oh, that, yeah. That's cool. Um, I will see how practical it is. The problem is if you have a core mod, you have to change anyway. Oh, because yeah, the not. yeah, like the the obfuscation's only halfway there, so I've got a core mod now. Eh, it doesn't matter. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So how but about it's, it's cool in theory? It is cool. I thought it just sounded neat, and it sounds like they put a lot of work into it. So that's awesome. So what do you say, Soren? Should we show off this checkerboard thing? Perhaps. Perhaps indeed. How about <laughs> you go ahead and right click on that monitor for me, and I'm just gonna watch from the background. Boop. Oh, cool. Now, before you do anything else, I just want to show the checkerboard. Uh, once you click on the monitor, it comes up with an empty checkerboard. There are no pieces on it, and you have the option to either quit or load up a new game. So, Soren, go ahead and load up a new game for us. New game. Click. Click. Dun, 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 dun. Now, every turtle knows its home position, uh, so it'll find its way to where it needs to go and make its way over there. Um, and eventually, it'll find its way to its home. It uses the GPS command, the go-to, uh, so every turtle knows where it starts, and uh, these turtles face forward when they're done, and these turtles face this way when they're done, uh, doing the go-to command. So that's the deal with that. And of course, we've got the GPS tower up here that we built last episode to make that happen. Uh, so that's how you start a 
new game. It'll tell you whose turn it is, so it keeps track of turns, and uh, it also shows you how many pieces are left uh, for both the red and the black team. So right now it is red's turn, and um, yeah, I think we're good to go. What do you say, Soren? You want to play a game of checkers? Sure. <laughs> All right, how about you be red, and you move one of your checker pieces? Okay. Do, 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 do. Ta-da! So every time a checker piece is moved, uh, the uh, corresponding turtle will move to the same position on the board. Nifty. And I'm just going to move this guy right here. Dun-dun-dun-dun. Your turn. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my, that's a scary position for you to put yourself in. I don't like anything about that. I'm going to go here. And all the turtles should kind of do their best uh, to kind of stay in the position they belong in. Right now, uh, it's pretty resilient to people being in the way or doing anything when it's, you know, GPS moving, uh, just by nature of the GPS command. But uh, the commands that actually move the turtles from one spot to another. And did you go already? No, you didn't yet. Well, there we go. I had to jump. Oh, you had to jump. All right, so a lot of people commented last episode that there's a rule in the game that if you can jump, you must mm -hmm. jump. So right now you can see my black character has one, uh, and it has a couple jumps available to it. So instead of it just automatically choosing one, which, you know, I don't know which one I want to do, and I wouldn't want the go computer to, to choose right for me. Go to the top right one. Hush you. I'm just demonstrating the fact that if you try and move a character, it's just going to tell you, you must jump. Must jump. No such luck. It's going to make me jump, so maybe I'm going to jump this way, and go. And when I do the jump, uh, one turtle moves, of course, where it belongs, and the turtle that got jumped gets moved out. Uh, the swords move out to this side of the screen, and the shears move out to this side of the screen. Nifty, right? Uh, each turtle has its own home position uh, on the board, and each turtle also has its own out position, is what I called it. So any turtle that gets uh, kicked off the board, uh, there's a specific GPS coordinate that it goes to when it's considered out of the game. And now it's my turn, so I'm going to go here. Aha! Dun, 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 dun. And it won't let you move pieces until the turtle's done moving. And typically the turtle, when you're just doing a normal move, is very quick. Like if we watch over here and Soren goes ahead and moves, uh, we'll see that it's pretty quick here just to like boom, boom, done. Right? No problem at all. Um, he doesn't lift up off the board. Like he only moves like on the board, you know, when he's moving. Because typically like it's impossible for him to move onto a position where there's already a turtle. And uh, there's never going to be a turtle on the red squares. So no worries there. Uh, now where was I? It's my turn, right? Oh, this looks scary and confusing. <laughs> Does not look like a good place for me to be in. I'm moving this dude right up there. This is deathmatch checkers. Uh, double jumps oh. are capable and kings are capable. I do have an idea for kings, but I'm not sure if I want to implement it or not. I might. I just haven't yet. And I think I'm just not going to show you. Double jump. Uh oh, are you double jumping me? I'm about to. <laughs> You're about to. How are you about to double jump me? You have to jump. Yeah. Okay. Oh. It's been forever since I played checkers. That doesn't look good. And also, it should force you to double jump if you can. Like, it won't, because you have to jump, it'll maintain that during a double jump. The question is, so. which direction do I want to do that? Oh, just double jump me and stop. Um. <laughs> so he's kicking two of my guys out of the game. Uh, there we go. You'll oh get my. one more guy. There we go. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> and I hate everything about you. But oh, that's okay. So I can write you. a mod, Dyer. Really? <laughs> what? Just write a mod, man. God. No, this is fun for me. <laughs> so much. A mod would be fun too. Yeah, but this took like three days and massive amounts of effort that was not on screen. So. What do you think a mod is? Don't get know. me started. I don't know. Basically what I'm saying is if I started modding, I would have less time for YouTubing, and I think the YouTube audience would not like that at all. YouTube mod. <laughs> Let's mod. Yeah, Pahamar's got that one cornered. Alright, so uh, I'm going to hold off on the explanations for a moment here, uh, but I will be back to uh, tell you guys a little bit more about how this works once uh, Soren and I have advanced a little bit more in the game. So actually, I don't want to move him. I want to move this dude. Ha ha. 
Take that, buddy. So, guys, Soren found a bug in my program. If you break one of the monitors... Oh, great. Must jump. Yeah, you had to jump, like, up here. There was a jump you had to do. If you break one of the monitors, yeah, you have to jump from, uh, I guess it's 3, 5 to uh, 5, 3. Was that a double jump? Great. I don't think it's a double jump. I yeah, think it's, like, right here. around... That would be 3, 3 or, right here. So, like, here, maybe? 3, 5... Five three. Did I manage to do it? I think I did. Now, once you actually, there we go. See, it redraws okay. the board pretty well. Of course, we lost our new game and our quit buttons, but yeah, the monitor is not resilient to uh... <laughs> to don't break it. Yeah, to what you just did. Not resilient. I, I put away my pickaxe now. <laughs> nice. Yeah, put away your pickaxe. Use your sword or something, or just a bare fist. All right. So now that you derped up all my strategies. <laughs> And I don't know what just happened, but we've got a king. <laughs> so now I got a king. Soren got a king somehow. <laughs> so do I. I chose Soren, I was like right here. Yeah, I thought you were close to death. And then all of a sudden you're winning. Somehow. <laughs> it's okay. We'll be back in a second. <laughs> oh my, okay. I think Soren's gotten me into a tough spot here. I don't even know where I'm allowed to go that doesn't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything. <laughs> this is not good. Well, if I go here, then he'll have to jump me. But that's not going to help anything. If I move this guy, he can't go anywhere. That doesn't help. None of this There's helps. Interesting pattern we have here. But note, uh, yeah. <laughs> We've got turtles that are relative to all the positions and everything. Mm -hmm. It's all working right. I love it when things work the way they're supposed to. It's so cool to watch. Yeah, it's awesome to program those ones. It's so too. cool. Yeah, I can't move that guy backwards, can I? That's not going to help. I don't think so. I am so doomed. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know how much progress we made from that little derp, but... It would have been this bad. I don't know, man. I just think uh, I'm terrible at checkers. That's the basic gist here yeah. that I'm seeing. <laughs> oh, wow. Can I actually, like, do something? That's not terrible. Yep. yep. Look at that. Oh, wait a second. Oh, double jump. King me. Oh, yeah. Probably green or yellow. Well, I figured black gets kinged white, and pink wait, gets wait, kinged wait. blue. I'm running away from that. You must jump. <laughs> I'm glad it told me. It's like, oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah. Apparently Poor you guy in the corner there. <laughs> I think I'm really in trouble here, because I've got three pieces left, and Soren's got seven. <laughs> two kings. Yeah, two kings, and I've got one. You're about there. And Soren's just waiting for me to move that one dude. <laughs> He's there. Mine. I'm moving him. You happy? Yay. <laughs> Yay, indeed. Uh, it's my turn, and I have no idea where I want to go. If Dire wins, we have an issue. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about how terrible I'm doing. <laughs> There goes nothing. Haha. -ha. Okay. Okay, that didn't help. But <laughs> <laughs> I will proceed. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, nice little triangle right. there. There we go. Happy now? Oh, nice. No, not really. But well. <laughs> I just decided there was no chance, so I'm not going <laughs> to run around. There we go. Game over. Very anticlimactic there. <laughs> well, my new game and quit buttons are gone because somebody broke the monitor. See what you did. Yeah, see? 
<laughs> so there we go. On startup, by the way, it issues the quit command. So if this chunk yeah. unloads and then reloads, it'll start up like a quit game type of thing. Um, especially, I'm going to put a chunk loader here, but, you know, the main purpose is that, you know, if the oh. server resets, it kind of resets the game to this home position. Okay. Oh, wow. Cool. They'll go and line themselves up at the side waiting for the game to start. That's going to be it. What's this All right, guys, we'll be back in a few. All right, guys, so uh, a little time has passed, and I came up with something interesting and cool that I want to try out first, probably here, and then maybe expand into other interesting areas. Uh, Tog has joined us, and a couple other people are hanging out. Pahamar's here, but he's being awfully quiet. And Lex Manos is here, too. How you guys all doing? Good. Cool. Hi. So I'm just chilling, and I want to come over here and... Uh, Steal Soren's fabricator when he's not looking. Shh, don't tell him. <laughs> okay. Wait. Soren, don't tell him. Okay. Will the fabricator feed from the bottom? Like if I put a fabricator I here? Don't know if they'll actually pull it out of it. We could try. Well, we'll find yeah. out. Hang yeah. on a sec. Depends on how the carpenter was cut. Well, the carpenter might pull. Maybe. Maybe it won't, but that's okay. I'm interested to see if uh, the fabricator will use the carpenter as the adjacent inventory. Basic. There we go. User entered your channel. Hello. What's up, Neptune? All right, you know what helps? Power. If I yeah, that's what I'm saying. That. I need one redstone conduit. I'll go get it, though, because you're lagging like crazy. I have 12. Okay, well, if you have it on you, then I'll User take it. Entered your channel. But I wasn't going to ask you to go anywhere or do anything. Well, in the workshop, I'm fine. It's User no problem. In your channel, time down. Oh, there we go. People are timing out. I might not have even needed it. Yeah, I don't think I did. Seriously, you need a gravity suit to work in a void age. I just don't know how you wouldn't. So, Fabricator, are you going to work for me? Is this going to happen? We're going to find out in a second. So, Soren's trying to one-up me on this whole building thing. Yeah, it was a little bit quicker, wasn't it? I think so you want that to liquid. happen, right? Yeah, so if we had the liquid dicer, it would craps until you run out. That's a lot more infrastructure, though. Like, look how big that has to be. <laughs> you don't need power, though. You don't need power, and it's faster, but it's bigger. See? The pros and better. cons. Also, fabricator not feeding from carpenter adjacent. What is that? Gonna find out in a second. Nope. So, I don't know. Your tank is looking a lot cooler. It was way faster. <laughs> I kind of want to know why they don't pull out the carpenter stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the carpenter makes that available that easily or something. No. Like, I bet if I move this down here, it would... There, you see? What? If I move the pieces down to the bottom inventory. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's probably the inventory piece it's pulling from. Okay, let's see. So, that's I wouldn't worry too much about it. Okay. So, I want to show you guys something relatively new from Railcraft. Uh, it's something I haven't played with just too much yet, but I really want to show you because it's awesome stuff. Where am I looking for in here? Oh good, I'm getting lots of track from this. Yay, things. Okay, so, what do I have to play with? Maybe I should go build this in the overworld. 
just gonna build a little small area in the overworld here just to demonstrate this nifty new gadget from Railcraft. And then I might build this uh, in either the workshop. There's a couple things I've kind of had in mind I want to do, but I'm not sure how feasible they're gonna be. I have to do a little bit more experimenting, but we'll see what happens. User in your channel timed out. Oh. Man, people love timing out on us, don't they? It wasn't me this time. Lies. How are you, Neptune? I'm alright. How's the uh, 1 5 thing treating you? Uh, I have a release set, actually. I should probably see if anyone's reported any bugs now that I think about it. Alright, well, let me know when you want to spotlight and stuff, because I'm ready to go whenever you want. The way, the way it works, for anybody who doesn't know, is that Modder says, Hey, Direwolf, there's new content, and there's enough of it that I think it warrants a spotlight. And Direwolf says, Yes, sir. That's the plan. Alright, so now I need to make something else. Uh, I need to get myself um, some more steel, which I've been cooking up. I think I've got enough of it for now. Uh, I'm also going to need a firebox. And I'm pretty sure I need solid fuel. So that's going to require some bricks, and a furnace, and a fire charge, which as we know is blaze, coal, and gunpowder. Okay. I can make two of them I think I need. Blaze, a couple gunpowder, a couple coal. Cool. I got some fire charges, now I need some bricks. Do I have any of those laying around? Maybe. If not, I know a way to get some. Uh, I've got these, but I don't think we can transmute those or do anything to get them back into normal bricks, huh? Alright, I know a quick solution. Back to the workshop at the end of the universe. Don't mind me. What kind of trouble are you causing? What are you doing? I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of rare events. I know nothing. What? What? <laughs> I'm going to probably need a new minium stone after I do this. Or pretty close to it. Um... Yeah. There's four gravel is one clay. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more than that. Uh, give me a second here, guys. That's a much better solution. You said similar features. It doesn't tell me anything. There could be anything. The box. Where are people watching I'm like, hey, where can I get YouTube? clay from? And uh, Yuji Matter is a good source. Yuji Matter is a good source. We don't have enough of it. Yeah, we're pretty low on UU matter at this point. Mm -hmm. We should Just, probably set the second mass step. Yeah. <laughs> we we really should because we really don't have anywhere near enough UU matter at this point in the game. Mm -hmm. Like, for what we want to build, this isn't going to be nearly enough UU matter. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, so, like, this bottom row of, um, you know, barrels are 1024. <laughs> And then we've got another row of barrels that's like 66. And then there's three barrels here that are maxed out because they're not extra dimensional. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> it, we actually did turn off our mass fabricator at one point. We, we It shut mm -hmm. down now. You know that, right, Soren? I turned it back on. Did you? Why? Yes. Why? Because it's working now. There's because space. it's what? It has space. It says it has space. It'll turn now. Otherwise, they'll turn off. But, 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 but why? Because <laughs> I'm all the UU matter. I think you're a little insane with the UU matter. <laughs> You'll tell me when you've had enough. Uh -huh. Is that the way it goes? Possibly. <laughs> I right. great. Technically, you need any mod, but no. So, one more thing I need to make. 
And I think I've got some back here. And this should be everything I need to make this nifty gadget that I want to tell you guys about. It's so cool. I love it. I'm going to need, let's see, at least a little bit of water, too, while I'm at it. Uh, but for now, I just need one of these. Cool. Yes. The sniper app is the only thing I put and trigger it. I'll get back to that later. Oh, it's raining. I want to demonstrate this in the daytime and oh. not raining time. So I'm going to come back in a second when it's not raining and it's day. All right. So, Soren, you're running. I'm going to warn I you, am. dude. You don't want to be there in a minute. Where am I supposed to go? Fire is everywhere else. Day 2138. Do what now? Oh, I have to make these into steel plates, don't I? Yeah. Ah. No, I was forgetting something. I'm like, <laughs> hey, why isn't this steel coming together the way it's supposed to? Oh, we do have a stack of steel, though. Well, I've got the steel, I just need the steel plates. Ooh. That should be enough. Oh, neat. He added a little tooltip to the rolling machine. Click to craft. Hmm. All right. That should be everything I need in order to get this thing going. Anybody guess what I'm making? New item from Railcraft. Requires a few high-pressure boilers, a couple other nifty gadgets. This is actually a really cool item. I don't know if you've played with these yet, Soren. I haven't. They're awesome. I will accept them, but I was like, uh, I don't have enough time right now. Dun 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 dun! Steam locomotive. I will see you in about an These hour. These guys are awesome. Whatever reason, there's a lot of lag in the world today. That is awesome looking. The steam locomotive is cool. Uh, it's really pretty easy to use. Uh, just gotta give it a little bit of water. Uh, it's going to need more than that eventually. Uh, we're also going to need to give it a little bit of solid fuel, because remember it used solid fuel fuel boxes. And uh, while I'm at it, why don't I get... I should have a crowbar somewhere, maybe? Do I have a crowbar? If not, I know where to find the ingredients for one. Crowbar is just three iron... Or die? Yeah, four red die. Can't get four red die now, we're done for. Do you make cocoa from you, I believe? I don't remember the exact recipe for cocoa because I never use it. But all the others I know. Alright, that should be everything I need. So I'm gonna put on the back of this thing, uh, I'm gonna get and shift right click to start linking and right click to finish the linking and I can ride this dude right back here. All I gotta do is put some uh, coal in there and uh, I gotta set it, uh, shut down means it won't use any coal at all. So you can see nothing's happening right now. But if I put it on idle mode, uh, it'll start burning coal and it'll build up the internal heat, which actually does build up pretty quickly because it's a small engine. It's not like those giant boilers that take forever to build up heat. Now in idle mode, it'll keep the temperature temperature up. Uh, so that's awesome, and I love everything about it. Uh, and just like the boilers, I think they become more efficient fuel-wise, but once they hit 100 degrees C, then it starts creating steam. Oh yeah, check it out. Uh, and then, once you're ready, you can set it to running mode. Now these things down here are your speeds, so I'm going to set it right now to the lowest speed, and I'm going to activate running mode. Dun 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 dun! Oh, oh. How cool is that? Oh, can't see you moving, but I think it's cool. I was moving. Did I stop? Oh, I went back oh, to just... idle mode. Running. There it goes. Nice. So you can put it on the slow mode, or you can put it on uh, medium. <laughs> Are you messing with the interface? I hit fast as a zero. So, Soren, I'm going to give you a pro tip right now. Don't stand on the tracks. Okay. 
Did you hear the, the choo-choo train sound? The whistle? Ooh. You can even do this. Check this out. Uh, I thought that was the recipe. <laughs> Maybe it's steel? I have to do that with? You know, steel and iron nuggets look way too similar. Yeah, I told him the same thing about the control chips. Like, it's upside down for the distance and the... So I'm just uh, putting it on idle mode for a second. Nice stand on <gasps> How cool is that? <laughs> you can change the um, sound. That's what this tuning fork does. It changes the sound of the locomotive uh, whistle. I am making this thing play Pokemon's Cannon. I think, that's a, I think that's a good pitch right there. Back to running full speed mode. Oh yeah, check it out. <laughs> they're actually pretty quick. Like, I think they're somewhere mm -hmm. between like you know max speed rails that are normal and high speed rails. I think high speed rails are still faster in the end, but and of course like there's a little lag right now on the server, so that's why we're stuttering mm -hmm. a bit. So for the people watching my stream, this is one of the reasons I will not make. Mine mountable or entities that take you somewhere because just about the server handles the visuals. It's I kind of like, want you to stand on the track. Sideways. <laughs> I, I just think it, I, I would kind of like you to stand on the track right now. Hold on. Uh, oh. <laughs> He's like, I have to go take off my important stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. At least it's not lagging much right now. Alas, goodbye, cruel adventure game. Oh no! Oh, Soren. Talking about a one way ticket after. Yeah. Uh, the cool thing about these locomotives, by the way, yeah. Oh, look, it shut down. I wonder if it shut down because it hit you or what. Um, but <laughs> one way or another, it stopped running. Watchers. So that is the epicness that is the steam locomotive, and even better. You can dye them. I can't see because the door's not opening now. Aw, broken door. You can actually put two colors on them, I think. <gasps> like one on top and one on bottom. So let me D try this. Door I refuse the door and go around. So I think if I do this and this, oh yeah, <laughs> check that out. Do you want to ride it, Torn? I can't tell if I'd be able to. <laughs> like, am I in the cart right now? You are, yes. Interesting. Oh, there we go. I have stores in my case. Alright, I've got you linked. I just need to get you a little bit of water here. Hang on a second. <laughs> oh, it's red. It's yellow. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, do we have enough HV solars down there? No. We need some more? We're good. <laughs> okay, Soren, here you go. Why did that take water and then not fill up? It did. It's 1,000 bucks. Is it? It didn't refresh on my screen. Oh, it did, yes. Alright, I'll switch it to running mode, and there you go, buddy. You're off and away mm -hmm. in a second, once it hits 100 degrees C uh, and it's got enough steam inside. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. There it goes. <laughs> away! Oh, and there's actually like tracks that come with these things like you can build special mm -hmm. tracks and then when it goes over the track if the tracks affected by a redstone signal it can set the speed so it can make it idle Ooh. or shut it off or it can even just slow it down and speed it up so i, I want to build something cool with this thing <laughs> oh, i don't feel safe on this anymore. well just activate the interface and say shut down or idle 
I can't. It's way over there. Like, on my screen now, it's on the other side of tracks to me, and it's also now behind me. <laughs> All right. way over. Well, it's idle now. I stopped it, and I'll shut it down even. So idle, like I said, stops it but keeps the engine running at a much <laughs> lower amount of fuel use. But shut down, completely shuts it down, and it stops using fuel. <laughs> Okay, we were off the tracks. Were you? <laughs> oh However, my. how much fun was that? What's fun? <laughs> Alright, so I gotta clean up my inventory, and then when I get back, I might talk about some of the plans I have for the next episode or two where I want to start messing around with these awesome uh, locomotives, because they are just too cool. I want to build, like, kind of like a... A little bit of a train track ride thing. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've totally hit the wrapping up point for this episode. All right, guys. Good. Mine Checkers is officially complete. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done with that. There's a couple, like, small details I, I might want to add coming up, but uh, I'll probably work on those off camera, and if I do add them, I'll just show them on camera. But for now, I call Mine Checkers complete. Uh, I will, for you guys, though, paste bin all the code. So if uh, you were looking for the paste bin for the Mine Checkers stuff, uh, let me go paste bin all that for you right now, even though we're, like, really close to having to wrap up uh, the main program here is called checkers and we'll also need to put button up there for you just in case you didn't get it last episode and you'll also need a uh, maximum pace limit I have to go paste it some other time. All right, check my forum thread. I will paste bin all this code another time. I've been using paste bin a lot today, and uh, I guess I've uploaded too much. So uh, I will, like I said, uh, get you guys that code. Check my forum thread. I'll get all the code up there for uh, both the, the uh, computers and the turtles. Uh, the turtles have a couple pieces of code they need. Uh, for the computers, you'll need checkerbot, which is what runs all the time. Uh, go home, which is basically just going home to its uh, home place on the board. Go out, which means go out to the outward place out there. Uh, go to, which is my standard go to program that I wrote a long time ago and at this point looks horrible to me. And startup, which just runs Checkerbot. Uh, make home and make out are commands I use to set the home and out positions for all the turtles. Uh, I'll put them up there if you want, but they're really like basic little programs. You don't have to worry about them. Uh, you don't really need those programs in order for things to run smoothly. But, like I said, I hope you liked all the cool checkers stuff. I'm pretty pleased with the game mechanics. Uh, it works pretty well, all the turtles are cool looking, and it's so fun to watch these guys like zip around and land in position and, and go where they're supposed to go and, and do their thing. So, yeah, pretty pleased with the way checkers turned out. Uh, what happened to you, buddy? Oh, right, you weren't checkerbotting, were you? See? Nice. Yeah, Amazing. that's the one that actually, Angular. you know, that's the program that needs to run in order for things to work. Every now and then we get a little collision, minor bug, but I have to fix that if they're I colliding. Like this tango. I know it's fun to watch. I have to fix that. I have an idea on how I'll fix it. It's not going to be too hard. It's just the go-to program, and they're getting, you know, they keep trying to work themselves around each other. But anyway, got to wrap up way past the wrapping up point. So again, hope you guys enjoyed checking out episode 44. Mind Checkers is complete, works pretty smoothly. Uh, gonna pretty much be done with this project, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was, had a lot of fun building it. And next episode, we're going to work on some stuff by way of Railcraft. I'm thinking maybe some locomotives, uh, maybe check out some kind of railway system just for fun. Maybe like, uh, you know, like a roller coaster almost. Yeah, that might be cool. What do you think, Zorn? Yay. All right. You're in charge of making the roller coaster look cool, and I'll be in charge of making it work at all. All right, guys. <laughs> Direwolf20 signing off. Take it easy.